Game of Thrones Season 8 is a week away, so I want to jump on the Game of Thrones algorithm, hence why I am making this video. The question I pose is, who's the best fighter in Game of Thrones, and why is it John? Okay, so we have some very strict criteria for who qualifies as the best fighter. Side note, Daenerys is disqualified for burning dick on Tarly. Clearly against the rules. Okay, roll the intro. Look at the time! It's the makeshift show. We have some things to consider, a list of certain attributions that make the GFOAT, the greatest fighter of all time, the GFOAT. Uh, number one, is your sword cool? Is your sword cool? Let's look at other swords from Game of Thorns. Arya's Needle, chock a block full of good vibes, stick them with the pointy end, exclusively kills ugly people, seriously, and is pretty cool looking. One problem, though, is that it's not Valerian Steel, so even if she wanted to kill some cold Zambronis, it would not work at what it's best at, killing ugly people. Okay, how about Oathkeeper? Brienne of Tarth's Oathkeeper is forged from Ned Stark's ice, a BMFSB, a big motherfucking sword, a uh, bitch. But when Tywin Lannister got his wrinkly hands on it, ice was used to make two smaller swords. Widow's Whale and Oathkeeper. It was given to Brienne to go on a harebrained adventure with Pod to find the Stark girls. So it has history, is actually pretty cool looking, and is made from Valerian steel. So it checks out as, hey, that's pretty good. Except every time somebody looks at her sword, they can tell it's a Lannister sword. Probably because it looks like it came directly from Trump Tower. So it sucks. Okay, other swords. Um, what is well? Horrible name and it doesn't look cool. Flippin' terrible. The Tarly Sword. A sword that has no backstory in the show. And I forgot its name, just a second. Heartsbane. Okay, it sucks, move on. Then we have Longclaw. A sword that embodies cool. John earned it. It has a new hill. It has major history. And it has been used to kill White Walkers absolutely central to the story and is freaking the best sword of all time also it like comes to life or whatever oh yes the best sword in game of thrones goes to Longclaw. number two can he or she steal your girl okay we have a couple characters that are in the running for this so for fun let's just eliminate some right off the bat the hound nope he might kidnap your girl or throw your girl over his shoulders, but he's definitely not breaking any hearts. The hound might be strong, but he is not a lady killer. Sir Jorah Mormont. Yeah, he got cucked three times, so I'm pretty sure that's a no. Theon Grey... No, no, not even close. You're on Greyjoy. Well, he has talked about his big dick, but he has not used it. The Mountain. I don't even want to say why this is a big nope. Brienne of Tarth. Okay, no, but if she freaking gets it on with Tormund, she can have the Steal Your Girl prize, or the Steal Your Wilding prize. Bronn. Okay, strong contender. We see him with many ladies. He plays games with love, like all true heartthrobs might do. He has swagger, and he literally stole a girl from three tents Tuka. down. Tuka. From whom? From, uh, it's, uh... What's his name? I don't know. Ginger cunt. Three tenths down. But also introduced us to, in my opinion, the worst character of all time, Shay. So just for that, he is eliminated. Jamie Lannister. Okay, he definitely stole Robert Baratheon's girl. And the ladies are all, like, googly-eyed over him. Family always comes first with him, and women love that. So yeah, not too bad. On Facebook, his relationship status would be, it's complicated right now. So he definitely has some pluses in this category, but not compared to John. Ladies, man, turned down the number one prostitute in King's Landing, took the hottest wild and captive, and all she could think about was getting him in a cave the whole time. And even though he has a small pecker, he made use of his tongue like the noblemen do with their ladies. He then seduces the most powerful person in the world, his aunt. Okay, pretty good. So I say John wins his hands down. Number three, street cred. In the hard knock streets of Westeros, there are ways to get your name out there to the masses. 
most importantly, the reputation for being a badass. When I think of badass, three names come to mind, besides our boy. Number one, the mountain, two, the hound, three, the big lady, I mean, uh, Brianna Tarth. All of them have an impressive legacy and strike fear into their enemies. Except for Brianne, actually. She has yet to be popular, and the only people who recognize her are people that she met. So, strike her off the list. She can be replaced with uh, Jamie Lannister. Okay, so the Mountain and the Hound, a.k.a. the Cleganes. They're super tough, super recognizable, definitely strike fear into anybody they meet. But they aren't superstars. Like, Mark Hamill is an OG, and people love him, but... He's no Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie. They don't have that kind of street cred, the kind of street cred I'm looking for. So it comes down to a real star power. If that's the case, then Jamie Lannister versus our boy Jon Snow. Both superstars. Both have a reputation and both are still alive. So, you know, that puts them in the running. Jamie, son of Tywin Lannister, Lord Commander of the Kingsguard, although recently not so much, and was known for being the best swordsman in Westeros, also called the Kingslayer. Jon Snow, son of Ned Stark, kinda. Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, although recently not so much. According to Ramsay Bolton, the greatest swordsman to ever walk this earth. And also called the Kingslayer. Oh wait, no, actually, he's called the King of the North. So, street cred goes to, you guessed it, Podrick actually. Yeah, he, he actually gets the most street cred for being a beast in the sheets. But for fighting prowess and overall badassery, the street cred goes to ya boy Jon Snow again. Number four, screen time. Let's see. Jon Snow again. Wow. Okay, let's check the score. Jon has a cool sword. Has the steal your girl requirement. Has the street cred award. Most screen time award. Okay, but that's not all the requirements, okay? There's a fifth and final one. Number five, can they ride a dragon? Now, John has already rode a dragon. Da 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 chain! But I swear to heck, if that mother heifer gets up on that mother heifer, mother heifer, you can't even deny it. He is the G F O A T, the GFO. So fight me. Also, we have the same hair, almost. So, yeah. <laughs> so, John wins, all right? Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, don't worry, I will not do this any... <laughs> I don't know how to end this video. Just, uh, you know, if you have any uh, anything to say, just uh, say it. <laughs> this is really awkward. Okay, all right. Well, John Snow's cool, okay? We have the same kind of hair. Not really. I wish I had his hair. <laughs> Bye.